Hi guys, today I'm cooking fried tauge with tofu. So you rinse the tofu and then after that take a kitchen towel and pat it down so that all the excess water can come out so that later when you fry the oil won't jump out. So there's two way of frying the tofu. Either you can cut it into your preferred size and fry it. So like me, sometimes I will cut it into four and then I will fry. Or if I'm rushing for time, what I will do is I will fry it the whole thing all by itself and then later only I will cut it. And now for the tauge, we need to rinse a couple of times. What we want to remove is all this small broken end of the tail of the tauge and the black color pieces from the tauge head. So repeat this process a couple of times, at least three or four times until most of the excess have been removed out now you can cut your onion and garlic So heat up your pan and add in some oil and once the oil is hot, you can fry the tofu. So if you're going to fry the whole tofu, you put in the whole thing. If you're going to cut into small pieces, so you have to arrange it around.
So once your tofu is golden brown, you can remove it. So for the bigger tofu, I will keep turning it for the four sides so that the four sides also can be golden brown. So once it's ready, let it cool down for about 5 minutes and then you can cut it into 4. And then with the same pan with the same oil which you use to fry the tofu you can use back the same oil and fry your garlic so after about 30 seconds you can add in the onion fry it until your garlic Turn almost golden brown. So once your garlic golden brown already, you can add in your kunyit. Roughly about half to one teaspoon of kunyit powder. Depending how much of tauge you are using. If you, you are using a lot of tauge and not enough coloring, then you can add in a little bit more kunyit. And then you can add in your tofu and mix it around and then now you can add in your salt Give 
give it a good mix and fry it for three or four minutes more and then you can give it a taste if it's not enough salt you can add in a little bit more salt So it's ready already, you can off the fire and it's ready to serve. 